Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, I am still trying to figure out how to add people onto the Facebook Live. So um, I'm hoping to bring Kylie on with me. Oh look, I'm now broadcasting on my laptop. That's gonna be really distracting. So let's see, Kylie Austin is watching. How are we gonna get her on? Your live video. I wonder if I can pop her on here. Bring Kylie on camera. Oh, it worked, yay. It worked, yay. Okay, can y'all see her? Maybe I should- Can you see me or am I just like in a little corner? Okay. I see you in a box. Oh, uh, yes. It's, it's Kylie in a box. Okay, I should probably mute my computer. Okay, so there she is. I don't know if you guys hear bells. That's my puppy. Well, you'll probably hear my to go out. screaming in the background too, so it's all good. So let's hope that my dog doesn't pee on the floor, but if she does, it's my fault, and I will not reprimand her for that. So how are you? I'm good. Busy, busy, of course. Good. Busy is always good. Well, sometimes too busy isn't good, but um, I wanted to bring you on today so we could talk about challenges of having twins. And I also want people, oh, I'm, I'm able to look on my laptop and see people's comments. So that's really good. So if anybody wants to talk about specific the challenges they're having with twins, go ahead and put those in the comments. Um, and maybe Laura, who I see is on, maybe Laura, if you see anything really good, maybe you can um, text me so that I get messages popping up on my laptop. You can see we planned this really well, right? <laughs> no, I just kind of decided to do this five minutes ago. I'm cool with shooting the breeze anytime you want. And that's why I love you, because you're amazing. Okay, also, the fact that Kylie has a singleton child older than her twins, I thought she was particularly um, an expert at talking about the difference between having twins and singletons. And this would be uh, one of the challenges, I guess, is having a singleton and twins. Um, so I kind of want to talk about like the specific challenges that come with having twins and ideas for how to deal with them and then kind of how they compare to when you just had your singleton alone. Yeah. So, so what's been on your mind lately? It's funny that you um, put that as the topic because I was literally just thinking about it this morning when... Um, I had one of my uh, twin twenties, he was sleeping. And then the other one I got out of bed and I, of course I had my two year old up as well. So I was just chilling with the one in my arm and then having my singleton. Um, and we were, I was, you almost forget sometimes when you have like the one, um, I'm like, Oh, this would be so different. Just having one child in my arms compared to like, ha like, having to feel like in the back of my mind, I'm neglecting the other one, you know? Right. So no, totally. Um, it's just so different. You Like you could just pick up and go with the second little one. And whereas with my situation in particular, um, just having two extras is <laughs> extra blessings. Yeah. <laughs> of it's extra blessings big, we'll call it it's a big deal it's a big deal to uh to just feel like you're always almost neglecting one or just having to choose one or the other that's that's a huge factor for me and, and kind yes. of like a thing that i have to deal with um it's like you constantly feel like you're being pulled in in like two to three different directions at once yeah and it's, i always like, find myself especially when they were little like, you know, helping one, but then always like checking to see what the other one was doing and if they were okay. And yeah. then once they were on the move, you know, if one of them is on the move and you're going after them being like, oh, oh no, what about the other guy? Like, what's he doing? Oh, yeah. I know it's a, con now they are on the move. They're nine months old now. So oh, I just like to do okay, that. you're going to need to be quiet a little bit because we're on the video. See, say hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, Tristan, how are you? We don't want to do these right now. So, um, Maybe later. I know we can do a different game. Um, just having, uh, where was I? Sorry. The two of them, um, your, your, yeah, of course the guilt factor, but, um, oh yeah, I was going to say that people always say like, Oh, twice, the, twice as hard. Right. And like, no, it's a million times harder. It's not, <laughs> it really is exponentially harder yeah. because it's not just, two things you're juggling and then especially when you have your third kid it's like 
yeah, you can't even really do the math on that. I'm going to let yeah. my dog out. You're all going to see a little tour of my little tiny house right now. So <laughs> I'm going to put her in the yard and we'll see what happens. Hopefully she'll come back. I do have a fence. So, so the thing is like, I think that the, um, Having to uh, no, that's my phone. Your phone. Tristan. Um, your son's adorable. You're having <laughs> you. It's not like you just like you. You focus on one and then do the other. It's like you feel like you're failing at both at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, it, it makes so much <laughs> sense, and I feel like you're tapping into part of my soul that I never knew was there. At this moment, you feel like you're failing both at once. It, that is yeah. such, I feel like that needs to be on like a poster or like some kind of meme. You know, having twins, feeling like you're failing at two things at once is, it, I, I feel like that quite often. So you are not alone and my twins are five. So yeah. I wish so, I could say that it gets, you know, the guilt part gets easier, but it just changes really. Yeah, exactly. Um, especially, like I said, now that they're moving around, it's just like chaos all the time. Like you're pulled in both directions, which you can't physically do. So you're just stuck in the middle. And so yes. that's where you are like, well, I'm failing both of them at the same time. <laughs> I and felt like once. I two year old on top of that. <laughs> yeah. I felt like once we got to about, I'm sorry to say this, but it was really more like age two to three that it got easier because then you could at least, like they were more trainable in exactly. following directions. So like physical wise, you know, before that, if they were both to take off and you would have to go chase both of them and you have to do like Sophie's choice of like, which one do I chase yep. first? Exactly. <laughs> you know? no, that was then, really if, rough. Like a, a uh, over to you can kind of tell them no don't do that you know so then they, they understand boundaries better and they understand danger so yeah. then you kind of at least can train them like if you run into the street you could get hit by a car then they start to understand like oh now I know why I shouldn't run in the street yes. up until then they're just like it's no different than running in the grass running into the street like who cares yeah so, so that's yeah yeah so um the way that I, I go in there. Yeah, you can go in there. Um, the ways that I've dealt with it, like, so I feel like I had a lot of guilt because I wasn't able to hold them both at the same time. Yes, okay, please be quiet. Go and come in there. There's two. There's two of them, yeah. Um, I love you, Kylie, so much. You're doing so awesome. I feel what you're, like, what you're, like, right now. Because getting on the phone with anybody when you've even got one kid there is ridiculous because they, of course as soon as you get the phone out they're all over you oh yeah but now you've got the three of them all over you trying to do this but oh my god it's just delicious i just gonna eat them i know i'm, I'm just gonna eat they're you. always my babies are always naked never like <laughs> never put together because we are just that's the best because you can see the rolls I like the rolls. My kids never have rolls because my kids are super skinny. So I'm gonna eat brother. you up. How old are the twins? Say hi, Buggy. <laughs> you can put that on. Um, so, anyways, my big guilt thing was like not being able to hold them both at the same time, um, and so I just really um, realized when I was go I went on a trip. Do it. on a vacation to San Diego this weekend with all of them. And uh, yes, I saw that on your Instagram. And that was interesting and fun, but um, <laughs> interesting and fun. <laughs> um, you know, trips with kids are always interesting. Not always yeah. fun, sometimes fun. I mean, it's crazy the amount of stuff you have to bring for twins to just you know, I have to bring the two pack in place, barely fit in the van, all that stuff. Um, so you realize a huge difference with singleton versus the twins. I mean, you could usually um, with us like a single baby, I, I was able to stay in a hotel 
when I, va I went on vacation with my first and um, and then they would have like a baby uh, they would have like one pack and play maybe or they'll be able to like provide for you whereas when you're traveling with twins you have to bring your own pack and plays and we had to also um, you're okay. we had to sorry um, it's okay. Is everybody okay? Yes. They're getting into everything. Um, we had to bring a, um, or we had to buy an Airbnb because we were not going to have enough room in a ho hotel and I would not put mm -hmm. anyone through that that was staying at the hotel near us. <laughs> I know what you mean. We went on so, a trip when my kids were nine months old and we and did then, Airbnb because I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. And then we also, um, we also had to bring, we brought all of our family, um, my in-laws, my parents, and a bunch of people, hands on deck for, uh, for that, so that we were able to have a little bit of relaxation um, and make sure that everybody was accounted for, had a partner kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That was smart. And then that was good. Mom, of course, you guys know that uh, <laughs> trying to pack up for three littles. It's crazy town, and uh, so and having a vacation is really not a vacation. It's more of like work. So yeah, we fun. call them trips. Uh, yes, exactly. It's a business trip. They're actually. not really vacations anymore. Mom, They're trips. So. <laughs> so it's just it, like having your life somewhere else, when except it's more at, challenging. Exactly. Um, yeah, even more challenging because you know I was just prepared myself for no sleep, no you know just being ready because they're out of their element. So, sir, that's yeah. a little dangerous, sir. Okay. We're climbing all over the place. So, um, I realized that actually with, um, with the twins, I've been, um, I've been tandem baby wearing with them a lot more. Oh yeah. How's that been with, going? It's great. Um, that's taken away a lot of my anxiety and um, like um, guilt feelings because I'm actually holding them a lot more than I did with my singleton um, just because I'm able to wear them all the time. You're very heavy, and I'm carrying. Now I know you're very right. physical. I know that you're very physically fit, and that is your profession is that you're a fitness expert. But like carrying both of them on you a lot has is that a strain has that caused you any pain or any stress on your back it's, it's not painful and actually a lot of people are surprised because wow i can't see it's a telescope um sorry you're are you guys enjoying this this is like real life <laughs> Of course, they were. They like weren't like this like five minutes ago. Right. But <laughs> now when I emailed her, she's like, "Yeah, yeah come yeah, on, do this." I'm not doing nothing. Nothing. Just you know, just chilling. Um, actually, we're getting ready to have a play date with a bunch of other multiple moms. Um, Fun! Oh my god, take pictures. Yeah, it's been really um, helpful. That's another tip that I have to be connected to my. Um, my multiples group, um, th the um, multiples of America group locally, the chapter here. What's your twin club called? Ours is called Busy Bee Moms. Busy Bee Moms, located where? It's in, um, it's the East Valley of, Air, um, serving all of the East Valley of Arizona, so. Cool, very nice. So, anybody in the East Valley of Arizona, check out Busy Bees. Yes, you do, you're awesome. Oh my God, there's a minion attack. There's a minion attack, yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, the front and the back kind of weighs itself out, like uh, evens itself out of the tandem wearing. So um, it hasn't been very difficult. Um, I don't like to wear it more than like an hour. Of course, it's like kind of tiring. Mm -hmm. um, but so I had the, the tandem stroller for like a lot of like the zoo that we did and the when we did mm -hmm. world and things like that um yeah it's just it's it's so different I know it's so different having a second child but even like it's diff more different than that I think because um, oh yeah 
like I look at people with their at, at SeaWorld and at the zoo and stuff with their second children they're just able to like hold them in the arms and show them all the stuff and then the, the dad or the mom can go off with the older child and whereas I'm like stuck with the mm-hmm. two in the stroller like do not move because I can't I won't be able to you know get both of you at the same time in public and all those things so I can totally relate to I know so many twin moms and moms of multiples that have like anxiety when they go out in public and things like that because it's just it's just constantly I'm telling my friends like you're like you're like one two three one two three one two three how many one, three, everybody <laughs> like, and I hit for a second that like like I have to like I like panic in my head real quick like what? oh my gosh I forgot I had my kids or you know like not that you can but it's just sometimes you're like there's that extra one <laughs> that I just like totally spaced on <laughs> oh my god that is so hilarious yeah I totally get it for me I never had an extra so for me it was always just one two one two where's the yeah. other one where's the other one and now that they're getting older and I'm doing one-on-one dates with them which we haven't gotten to do until recently because now my husband's schedule makes it easier but it is so different just having one I know I'm like and they act differently, you know? So yeah. it's like, you'll see when they're older and then you just, I mean, but I guess you know, cause you had Tristan by himself for a while, but when they're older and then you get to have conversations with oh. them alone and you're like, oh my God, you're so much better behaved when you don't have your partner in crime with you all the time to make more mischief because everybody knows when you have twins, it's, it's not just having two kids, it's having like an explosion. It's like, you've got the two of them working together to cause more chaos and to, you know, gang up on you to make you even more crazy a lot of the times. Yeah. Um, so then when they're separated and you just get that one kid at a time, they're typically a lot calmer, a lot easier to manage. And um, it's awesome. <laughs> so I really, I really encourage one-on-one dates when your kids yeah. start getting older. If, you know, when you can, I know it's hard, but you do have a lot of support. So that's really important. And that's really great that you'll be able to have your family to help out. Yeah, it's crazy just being, just being with the one or having one taken, you know, taken care of, another one taken care of. You're just thinking like, I just think like, oh man, this would be so easy. Like, just if you're not a twin parent or not a multiples parent, then just know that like, thank goodness, like I have this, like, I know it's, I know, because I was there with the singleton, I was like, this is so hard, you know, as a first time parent, any first time parent, this is so hard, this is so hard, but then you don't realize, like, (laughs) it's not as hard. (laughs) Right, I mean, because that's your reality, like, when you have your one child, and, you know, who knows, your one child may actually be more difficult (laughs) than someone else's twins, it's just, it's all rough. It's all each individual's experience, I found. Um, That's true. They, I'm I'm pretty lucky. But all my kiddos are pretty good. Uh, I don't know where my dog went. She's... The twins are definitely harder. I don't know what it is about twins that, like, developmentally, they, uh, they like, it's, it, maybe it's like that you don't notice as with a singleton, like, the random nights of missleep. But, like, with twins, like, if they're – they're like one after the other night night missing. yes so then it's just like every night yes. there's something going on with somebody exactly especially with three because it's sometimes then it's the two-year-old then it's not. i'm so sorry i love it. it this is such a snapshot of real life with twins right here and you are handling it with such grace i can't even tell you i'm so impressed right now with what you're doing i'm so- just like this Whoa, is my, I'm having like, flashbacks. My, I'm having hot flashes here watching you. I'm like, oh, Lord, I can't I go back. You see um, on my Insta, Instagram stories or whatever, like, this is my life. Like, I'm literally picking up babies, putting them back all day long. That's and all you're I running a business, too, by the way. I don't know if anybody else realizes this. She's a personal trainer. So um, I, just, I just squat. <laughs> and so she's doing workouts. Like, if you if you are on Instagram, Kylie, what's your channel? It's um, Mrs. Kylie Austin, so I can type it in or whatever, but yeah. Mrs. Kylie Austin, that's Kylie Kylie with K-Y-L-E-E, so I'm up there, Um, but yeah, it's, it, it is constant, K, 
chaos and and it is what it is like i i um i think i do have some i i don't want to say like one up this but like i i know a little bit just from having the singleton like and i have mom uh, mom friends that just have twins even and they're just and they're just struggling and then I have to tell them you know like it's okay like life is okay we're gonna you're gonna make it you're gonna make it you are you put one foot so, in front of the other so tomorrow's another like, day that's what's Every helpful for me I, I, kind of, I made it through one of them the baby stage at least and um and the two-year-old stage is really fun as well, but it's hard as well. I think I, I think the two-year-old's much yeah. harder. I'm thinking that whistle needs to suddenly disappear. Oh, I know. What? Who gives whistles as a present? Uh, really? P.S. Anything that makes a noise in my house magically disappears. It goes to some other realm. Um, you know, train whistles, shofars, any kind of noisemakers. They just disappear. I don't know what it is. There must be some gnome in the house. I think so, that gnome needs to show up at your house pretty soon. Right? So also, it's funny because, like, with um, the twins there, like, uh, or with my singleton, I kind of got him addicted early on to, like, hit, like a phone and videos and all those fun stuff. But since I only have mm -hmm. one phone, the twins don't like having any interaction with me. So that's like, I put out a video and they're like, meh, they don't even, like, they don't care about That's it. so interesting. Isn't that funny? Like, because you I, also wonder like, you know, oh, when should I introduce, you know, screens to my kids? But sometimes like just the necessity is like, well, we just don't have enough screens. So. Yeah, exactly. I was like, don't get any. Solve Sorry. that problem real fast. Because like, I was. Yeah, totally. I just didn't ever, or I haven't really gotten them um, too much like screen time with the phone or anything. You're good. <laughs> good. I'm You're good. good. <laughs> but you I have plenty of time to do totally that because once you do it, you know there's I, no going back. I know. And it was like it was like a pacifier for my first one. So I'm like it was survival I guess. But but with them I don't have that which I'm okay with. But also it's like hard because you don't have yeah. something that's just like automatically will calm them down. So. Yeah. Do you guys do you do your kids watch T V? Do, yeah, they, um, the, we do, like, a little baby bum YouTube, and then, okay. um, like, uh, baby signing time, and videos, and, um, my two-year-old now likes Paw Patrol, so that's about, takes oh, Paw I mean, come on. Can you blame him? That's about the extent of our, our actual TV watching. Paw Patrol, love that stuff. I mean, I'm a big fan of TV. I've always been a TV fan. It's just, you know, I have a background in theater, so it's, you know, I just love it. But um, my kids have kind of always watched TV, you know, in smaller increments, but then as they get older, of course, it's like bigger increments. I mean, you know, come on, what can you do? But, you know, I feel like I, I set the bar. It's not so much for me um, length of time is, is more of quality it. of show. So, yes, like, I set the rule... You know, I don't want you to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I feel like it's a little too violent. But you can watch several episodes of Super Y because you're exactly. learning how to spell. And exactly. you're learning about storytelling. And, it's, it's, and there's so many amazing shows now that, like, I can't even keep up. But if there's something that's totally yeah. mindless or they, they, they wander onto Pokemon, which Pokemon is great for yeah, older kids, but I'm like... You know, I always ask them, I'm like, what are you guys learning from this? What, exactly. what are you getting out of the show? If they can't give me a good reason, I'm like, no. No. Yeah. No, to totally. Else. Totally, totally. So. Anyway. But I should get ready for my play date with all my, my friends. I'm really excited to hear how the play date goes. It's when you get, mul when you get twin moms together, it's like magic happens. Oh, my and God. all of a sudden, so nice. you're like, oh. It's so nice. Uh, like, that's why I said, just I totally recommend that number one tip to join your local mom, uh, mul moms of multiples group because it's life changing. Like you get to go in a room with a bunch of people who know exactly what you're going through right away. Yeah. And, um, and then I could like, look at my friends with like triplets and I'm like, okay, my life's yeah. not bad. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because that's what we always say. The, the twin moms say, oh my God, triplets. The triplet moms say, oh my God, quads. What would I do? I don't know. I know. That's the running joke. 
But um, if know, you right? don't, and just a general comment for those out there listening, if you don't have a Moms of Multiples group in your area, start one. It's know, really I easy to start them me. as like a Facebook group and just title it either the name of your town or the name of your region or your county, and people will find you. They will t- when they get pregnant with twins, they'll search for it in Facebook and they will find you that way. And then you can start getting together with people. So there's no reason to not get together with other twin parents because we're everywhere, even if there isn't an official you know, non-for-profit Moms of Multiples Club in your area, you can start a non-official one on Facebook and often, you know, find amazing people that you can hang out with constantly. So I, I really recommend doing that if you can't find one in your area. All right. So I hope you enjoyed a looking- little sneak peek into my crazy life. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us into your crazy life. It's been a blast, and we've been getting a lot of comments that I haven't really been reading, but I'm sure they're very interesting. I'll go back and read them now. Um, But thanks for joining us, Kylie. Have a happy spring break, Easter, whatever you're doing this weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, Enjoy. Have a lot of fun. I hope we see lots of pictures of egg hunts and bunnies and things like that. I'm sure we will. He is so excited for the Easter bunny, so. So are my little Jewish kids. They're very excited for the Easter bunny. Because my, my husband does Easter, so we do Easter for him. So now they, they get really excited about it. I think it's really the candy. Oh, yeah. The candy. They're, They're all it's like It's like Halloween part two. Who are we kidding? He's all about the uh, um, the eggs, so. We're all about the, uh, Hey, look at me right here with the Whoppers that I got at Aldi. Oh, my oh, God. Hey, These are addictive. Enjoy. Anyway, I should put those away. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy your moms. And uh, let us know what happens. Thanks. See you guys. <laughs>